Hello everybody. Today I am again with my new video and new kind of problem based on electrostatic force. First, discuss what is our problem. Our problem is this. This is a linear charge density of this charge distribution uniformly over a surface. It may be conductor or an insulator. It's not a sphere. It's actually part of the circular track. And I placed a point charge plus Q at the center of this structure. This is uniformly distributed charge system having linear charge density lambda. What I have to find in this problem? What is the force experiencing by this plus Q by this setup? We'll have to find the force experiencing by plus Q with this setup. And let's see how we solve it. First, I'm doing some qualitative analysis, then I do some quantitative analysis. So to take, to solve this problem, I'm going to take help with my this problem. Actually, I have discussed this problem, this electrostatic problem, in my problems based on electrostatic forces number seven. If you want to see the solution of this problem, you could watch my video problems based on electrostatic force question number seven you can see the solution i'm just taking this result of the solution to solve this problem here this is in circular track or circular arc making an angle of 60 degree to this side and 60 degree to this side with a positive charge placed at the center of this arc so what will be the force experienced by this plus charge by this setup? Let's come in here. Force experiencing by this plus Q is equals to lambda Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R sine theta. Put the limits here 60, here 60. I have to put this. I'm going to solve this problem by this because as I complete this arc in a circular track, it will give me this problem. So in that case, if I'm going to complete this circle, so this part comes here and this part comes here, and then I have a problem like this. I need to increase this angle by 60 degree to 180 degree. And this angle 60 degree to 180 degree. This is in clockwise direction. Sorry, this is an anti-clockwise direction. We'll have to take angle positive there. This is an this is a clockwise direction. Here I'll have to take angle negative. So for this problem, I just have to replace here 60 degree by plus 180 and this minus 60 degree by minus 180 and I get the solution of this problem because why this problem converts into this problem by changing this angle to 180 this angle to 180 let's see it is this and converting this This angle will be 180 degree positive and this angle will be 180 degree negative. I just have to replace these limits. Plus 180 degree and minus 180 degree. And now everyone knows that what's the solution. Definitely putting the value of this and this. I get F is equals to lambda Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R sine 180 plus sine 180 so simple what is our result zero is it visible clearly therefore force experience by this plus q to this given setup is zero how is we have done it this is the quantitative analysis we can make some general Qualitative analysis also. Let's see, take a point charge here and just opposite to it I'm taking here. 
this force is repelling it and this is also repelling it so they cancel it similarly i take a point charge here and just opposite to it a point charge here it's also repelling it's also repelling so wherever i am taking a point charge on the circular track i have to take or oh sorry i get another point charge just opposite to it to cancel the forces and hence f is equals to zero this will be a qualitative analysis this is quantitative analysis what's time 533 pause it Here, I made a new analysis based over the same continuous charge distribution. See, this time I have an insulating spherical cell which is uniformly charged. It's not a circular arc. It's an insulator which is in the form of an spherical cell which is uniformly charged. By any adjustment, by some different adjustment, a positive plus Q in the form of a point charge is placed at its center. Now see, the force experienced by this plus Q is also zero. How is it zero? We just analyze the calculation is quite complex and I think we can solve this question by qualitative analysis far better than quantitative analysis. Where do I take a point charge over the surface of a sphere? There's a repelling force over this plus Q and there's a symmetrically opposite point of this point charge taken over the surface is this this also repels it these two forces cancel because distance are same magnitudes are same similarly each and every point has symmetrically opposite charge over the surface of a sphere and that cancels the force. Again we get the force at the center is zero. Pause it now. This is also an analysis based over the continuous charge distribution. This time I have taken a conducting spherical cell. Just before it I have taken a, sorry, I have taken an insulating spherical cell and placed a point charge Q at its center. This time, this is a conducting spherical cell, placed a point charge plus Q at its center. Analytically, it again experienced zero forces by taking, making the same analysis what we have made with insulating spherical cell when they are uniformly charged. But, electrostatics does not provide an stable equilibrium to a charge inside itself. This are in first theorem. And so, this type of setups are not possible in reality. There must be some leakage through it. The charge is not at equilibrium at its center, even in an insulating spherical cell or in this conducting spherical cell. But analytically, we can see that force is zero here in, within this conducting spherical cell and within an insulating spherical cell. But remember, electrostatics do not, sorry, electrostatics does not provide a stable equilibrium inside this setup. So we can say this kind of setup is impossible in electrostatics. But analytically, quantitative analysis gives us that the force is zero. But this is my analysis of the force. Remember all the three cases. In first case, it was just a spherical, no sorry, it was just a circular line charge. In last two cases, it's an spherical cell. So hope you understood these things and if anyone has any kind of query, you can message me on my YouTube channel through comments. You can contact me on Instagram and Facebook. and. I welcome someone can suggest me my errors. Maybe I have also done some wrong in it. So you can suggest me. I warmly welcome to them. And anyone can contact me for the errors too. If someone has any problem in electrostatics or quantum mechanics or mechanics, then they can contact me. I'm ready to help them. So thanks for watching. Message me, comment me.